I'm John Lahosky, Professor of Statistics, and sitting next to me is Steve Shreve, Professor of Mathematical Sciences. Along with our former colleague, Sanjay Srivastava, he's a professor of finance, we are the founders of the Masters of Science in Computational Finance program at Carnegie Mellon University. Hi, everyone. Today, we want to share the story of how the MSCF program came to be. So in 1993, Sanjay approached Steve and me with a vision for a new program that would train individuals to make a significant impact on the financial services industry. At that time, Wall Street primarily hired bachelor, MBA, and PhD degree graduates. Sanjay foresaw the need for a new type of professional who could navigate the evolving landscape of finance, technology, and mathematics. Sanjay envisioned an interface person, someone who understood finance, mathematical models, programming, and statistical analysis. This required training in four distinct disciplines, finance, mathematics, statistics, and computer science. Creating such a program posed challenges. The MSCF program couldn't be housed in a single department. At Carnegie Mellon, these disciplines were housed in four of CMU's seven colleges. However, CMU's collaborative culture made it possible to create a four-college program. As proof, John and I are in different colleges, but when Sanjay approached us, we had already been working together on finance problems for a dozen years. We were able to establish this inter-college collaboration and created a set of entirely new courses designed specifically for the MSCF students. These courses were highly coordinated to ensure a comprehensive education, and they were taught by domain experts. Initially, Wall Street was unaware of this new degree. We and our graduates had to explain the program to potential employers. Fortunately, the outstanding performance of our graduates in their jobs helped establish the program's reputation. Another key step was the establishment of a presence in New York City. This opened up major job opportunities for our graduates and much greater visibility for Carnegie Mellon in the finance industry. The MSCF program was the first of its kind. Over time, other universities recognized its success and the industry's need for such graduates. Two significant events also influenced the finance industry and our program. The cancellation of the Superconducting Super Collider Physics Project in 1993 and the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 both of which led to an influx of highly skilled physicists and mathematicians into Wall Street and into the MSCF program. These events brought a wave of technical talent to the finance sector, driving the need for sophisticated mathematical models and individuals capable of understanding and applying them. The MSCF program was designed to meet this demand. To ensure our students could understand and use these models, we needed accessible mathematics courses to teach both the theory and its relevance to finance. Unfortunately, there were no suitable textbooks for master's level students. To address this, Steve wrote two volumes on stochastic calculus applied to finance. These books have become the gold standard for this material. Today, the MSCF program continues to thrive. Thanks to the success of our outstanding students, the ability of our program to evolve with the many changes in the industry and the collaborative spirit of Carnegie Mellon. We're proud of what we've built and very excited for the future of the MSCF program. Thank you for watching and learning about the MSCF program's journey. We hope to see you at Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh or New York City. So here's to the future in the next 30 years of educational leadership.